Transformers Fall of Cybertron. I played the first one when it came out, War 4 Cybertron. That was pretty good. This series is basically, you know, Gears of War, uh, taking cover is kind of boring. What if instead you turned into a car? The thing I remember the most about this is the trailer was really weird. It had like a really sad song and like Bumblebee was dying. Take a lot more than rage and I think they were going for like a Gears of War Mad World thing, but it was Transformers, so it was kind of weird. In the future, when all the robots have machine guns and turn into cars, the best weapon for the guards of Optimus Prime is a spear. They just have a spear. Hey, Optimus Megatron, you guys having a good fight? That's cool. Mind if I drop in real quick? Oh no, Bumbler. Oh, Bumblebee's alive still. Oh, that was a flash forward when Bumblebee dies. Bumblebee, you get killed in six Earth days. Don't jump in front of Megatron's laser beam next time. So the Autobots are trying to get onto a spaceship and leave Cybertron, and the Decepticons are just trying to kill them all, I guess. That's what Decepticons are usually up to. We have to do surgery on this Transformer. One of the ball and socket joints on his arm came loose. If we don't reattach it, then six-year-old me will lose it forever. Beep, beep. Excuse me, guys. Coming through. Oh, great. Optimus is a car again inside of the base. He can't just walk around like the rest of us. He's got to be his stupid truck form. Whoa, that Decepticon has knife arms. See, the Decepticons are so much cooler. They're way better. Is that the Transformers language? Is that what it looks like? Looks like a bunch of nonsense to me. I only know how to read Aurabesh. Bumblebee, mask my loading time by making me walk through a gap. Good work. Anyways, I like Optimus Prime because he's a good guy through and through. He believes in justice and crap, but also he'll just kill anybody. Like, he's a good guy. He's, he's a nice dude overall, but he will murder every single Decepticon. He'll shoot them in the head. He doesn't care. Hey, Decepticon, stop warmongering. Stop having a battle. Uh, AC-130, can you kill this guy for me, please? Thank you. Anyways, yeah. Why can't we all just be friends? Even in Transformers, the helicopters go down. Even when the helicopters are people, they still crash and blow up. Heavier than it looks! That's what I said when I saw your mother. This giant robot is pretty strong, but he's very stupid. I gotta mark all his targets for him. Hey, kill the giant gun, please. Thank you. Uh-oh. Hey, uh, big guy? I know I called you stupid earlier. Thank you. Lights out. Did he just knock him unconscious? What is their biology or circuitry, I guess? It's very confusing. Even robot armor doesn't make you immune to common story conventions. Now I'm Cliff Jumper. If I don't jump off a single cliff, I'm gonna be pissed. Press right bumper to cloak. We are now a stealth section. Hey, Decepticon, there's a car behind you. Look out. <laughs> Snap his neck, yeah. <laughs> so stupid. I love it when game developers, like, give the fans a chance. Like, they give fans a real job. Like, for example, in this game, they hired a lot of the artists from DeviantArt. Wow, it's the entire universe at our fingertips. Let's go to Earth for some reason. Why do they go to Earth? Oh, yeah, duh. Because of the oil. Earth has a ton of energon. It does? I've never seen any. Turns out Earth does have some energon on it. We just have a different name for it. It's called G Fuel here. Megatron, you will never secure the PewDiePie G Fuel. No scope, baby. Ooh, come on. Who wants to get no scope by a car? How about you? Eh, oh, I missed. Come on. Get him. Oh, I hit him. Get me some of that phase clan energon. Structural integrity compromised. Shifting balance for Hello, I am a talking bridge. Life is pain. Kill me, please. Oh, boy. I can't wait to be assigned by vehicle form. Maybe I'll be a helicopter or a car. Oh, yeah. Um, well, here's the thing. We, we kind of need a bridge in Sector 5. So, yeah, you're going to be a bridge for your entire life. Sorry about that, pal. Man, this is BS. They didn't even give me a grapple hook. Why would anyone trust a group called the Decepticons? IDK, their name's pretty cool. If I see a car in real life with an Autobot bumper sticker, I'm like, lame. Come on, dude, grow up. But if I see a Decepticon, I'm like, hell yeah, Decepticons are awesome. Oh, they're gonna do a combiner. They're gonna combine into a big robot, yes. Finally, a big robot section. It's so awesome it's playing heroic music, even though they're the bad guys. It's just that cool. Behold, it is me, Soundwave, the best robot ever. I am a boombox. Don't worry, Megatron, I'll rebuild you. I definitely want to be you and not Soundwave. Autobot scum, die. Can you kill the prisoners? You can't kill the prisoners. Come on. Freaking Spec Ops to line Autobots game. Starscream just spawned in a really boring battle and hope Megatron would get bored and leave. That's what he did. That was his plan. Now you will fight 25 of the knife guys. <laughs> Do you think the robots and Transformers change allegiances based on who's nearby? Like, if I was an Autobot with, like, red colors and Megatron came up, I would just turn my lights purple real quick and be like, hey, I'm on your side. Don't kill me, please. Then when he leaves, turn him red again. Hey, what should Megatron's special move be? You know, the leader of the bad guys? He could turn into a gun like he does in his toy. Um, how about this? What if we give him a really big jump? Like, he can just jump kind of high. I mean, that's okay, but I think we would give the jumping ability to, like, Cliff Jumper, right? 
Oh no, Cliff Jumper turns invisible. He's a stealth character. What the? I'm a random crappy guy. I don't be a crappy guy. I went from Megatron to worthless fodder robot. I did not think the Transformers game would have a horror section, but it's about to. Whoa! Who's there? <laughs> He's making the Scooby Doo shaking sound. <laughs> That's amazing. Ah, you would have made partner next week. Like Scoob, I think Starscream's gonna like cut us in half. Whoa, Reggie, which us Scream. Now I am Grimlock. Grimlock should be able to become a dinosaur, right? I can't transform. Give me my dinosaur form back, Decepticons. I want to be a T-Rex again. That was way cooler than a sword guy. Can I breathe fire? Of course I can breathe fire. I just assumed he'd be able to breathe fire. I didn't know that's what he could actually do, but I just assumed, you know, he looks like the kind of guy that can breathe fire. He probably can. You cut through those guys like beryllium baloney. You mean cesium salami. They have baloney and transformers? I gotta learn more about Transformers lore. Somebody please lore dump the Transformers baloney lore. If you know about Transformers baloney, comment below and let me know. Yeah, playing as Grimlock is pretty fun, but when do I get to be Matanui? This game's okay, but it's no Bionicle Heroes. Shockwave, I'm going to bite your head off. Impossible. Nah, it's not impossible. And we're back to where it all began when Bumblebee first got shot. Will he get shot again? Yep, come on, Bumblebee. You had the whole game to think of a better strategy. Optimus Prime versus Megatron sword fight. Do I get to choose my guy? Oh, I get to choose my guy. Which one do I choose? I don't know. Twitch chat has chosen Megatron. You've called me Decepticon Creep for the last time. Die, Optimus. Die, Optimus. Die, Optimus. Oh, crap. Die, Megatron. My friends are the source of my strength. Whatever, that's stupid. The source of my strength is my gun and my sword. Now it is time to... Ex I'm trying to finish you off dramatically. Come on. Now it is time to finish you. There we go. That's gotta kill him. I think no matter who you choose, the ending is the same. They both go through the portal at the end. Still fun to have a choice, though. It's a good touch. Nice touch. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good end credits song. Best end credit song I've heard in a long time, actually. So many games don't even bother. They're just like, hey, play some dramatic orchestra, whatever. So this one, Fall of Cybertron and War Cybertron, both pretty good games. I don't even care about Transformers, and I thought they were fun. The game was made by High Moon Studios, and they had a successful action game or two in the 2010s. So guess what they work on now? Ah, yes, High Moon Studios. They're in California. Pretty nice office. Nothing out of the ordinary here. We also have Modern Warfare. Okay, they worked on Modern Warfare, but you know that. That one was pretty good, so there shouldn't really be a problem. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Why? Why, Activision? Why? Why?